Hey guys, Ranger here, and welcome back to another video, and welcome back to a possible new series on the channel called Weekly Update, or Bi-Weekly Update. Uh, basically, a little series where every week or every other week, depending every, every two weeks maybe, could be three weeks, tri-weekly, don't know, uh, where I do a video to give you guys updates on things that are going on, and so... Uh, let you guys kind of know why I haven't been able to get the videos in that time. So, and give you guys updates on some of the things that has been going on uh, in my life. So, let's go ahead and jump into some of the things. Um, first off, as you can tell, uh, I have not been able to do any videos, uh, like, pretty much since the start of 2021. I haven't really been able to do very many videos. And the reason for that actually is just completely because of work and being tired from work and um, I hoped that once 2021 rolled around that things will calm down, and they have a bit, but it doesn't seem like they've calmed down much. <laughs> it seems like things are still kind of chaotic. Um, grant, granted, it's not as hectic as it was in 2020. My gosh, 2020 was a bitch. But 2021 uh, hasn't really been completely as easy either. And so, whenever on my days off, I just don't feel energetic enough to do a video. And I don't want to push out a video whenever I'm not feeling it. Because I don't want, because I can't enjoy it as much. You guys can't enjoy it. And I'm not able to give the due credit to the creator of the video um, as much as I could if I was really being able to enjoy it. And um, also as well, 2020 just had a major impact on, uh, like, it just had, 2020 was a pain in the rear end, it just completely was, and uh, my mentality suffered as a result of 2020, I mean, honestly, I think everybody's did, um, but it, it's still something that I'm kind of getting through in a way, you know, we're kind of, I'm kind of in the process of still recovering from 2020, and so it just, 2020 had a major, I mean, 2020, there were a few good things for me personally in 2020, but 2020 was just, it was just a big pain in the butt, and it just, it affected my mentality and my emotional stability, and there was just so much going on, you know, it just did not, by the time December rolled around, I really, really needed a break. I really wanted a break, and so now 2021 rolls around, and things are a little calmer in a way, but there's still a lot of uh, craziness and stupidity going around, and so it's still kind of, yeah, it, like, it can still affect you, and so that's another thing is I've just been mentally drained, you know, and kind of emotionally drained. And it's not that I don't want to do videos, and I want to clarify that. I want to put that up front. I do. I have not stopped doing videos because I wanted to. And I have not stopped doing videos because I've been getting out of YouTube. Lord knows that's not the case. I love YouTube, and I love doing videos for you know on YouTube. But whenever you... It's not that I don't want to do videos. It's just that I haven't felt as motivated... Uh, and it has to do with with things going on. It has to do with completely with everything that happened in 2020. Still kind of mentally and emotionally recovering from that. And then 2021 starts and you think, oh, maybe it'll be better. And it doesn't seem... It, it's, it's a little better in some regards, but in some ways it's still stupid. Actually, it's still very stupid. And so it's just really kind of affecting that. You know, um, and so it's not that I don't want to do videos. It's just that I, I mean, Lord knows I do. It just, whenever I think about doing videos, uh, like I just kind of want to just sleep, you know, I've just been so like, I've been physically tired. I've been mentally tired and like emotionally drained as well. And it's Lord knows it's not that I don't want to do videos. I just don't, ha I just haven't had the motivation because just the impact that 2020 had and trying to get over that 
and now 2021 is here, and it's like, the stupid is still here. <laughs> the stupid is still there. And so, yeah, um, but, like, 2020 was just a pain in the butt, of course, with work. Uh, I worked my butt off in 2020. You know, I work in retail, grocery retail, not fond of it, but it just made it, whenever 2020 hit, it was just, it, it was so busy and tiring and then whenever things kind of started to calm down a bit then it seemed like suddenly politics were on, on everybody's mind and then I got exhausted from that and I don't dabble in politics I'm not a very political person and I'm very thankful for that and I don't want to be a I don't want to be a highly political person but my gosh, as soon as, like, July or August rolled around, suddenly politics everywhere, and it wasn't, and I couldn't really escape it, because suddenly my my family was talking about it, and I, even my parents, my parents, like, every single day, and then I get to work, and I hear a few other people talking about politics, and I'm like, please stop, okay, please stop, can we just stop making everything about politics, you're bleeding politics. You're urinating politics. Your every word it seemed was politics, politics, and oh my gosh, it was just so stupid. And I was tired of it. It was just exhausting, and so uh, it was just draining. And I was frustrated as well because I was so busy with work and tired from work. I didn't get a chance. I didn't have a chance to do the videos that I wanted to get to do, and it was. And I was upset over that. I was ups I was emotionally and mentally distraught over that. And then I was upset because I couldn't interact with the people that I could before, you know, and as much as I wanted to. And that was bringing me down. And I'll be honest, 2020 was depressing in more ways than one. And so then whenever you start sinking into that void, you know, you just, you don't have the energy, you don't have the motivation, and so I'm still kind of recovering from that, you know, I haven't fully pulled myself out of that pit yet, um, but it's still a process, and so in the meantime, like even as 2021 started, uh, I wanted to still do videos as well, kind of keep going with that, but again, like I'm still feeling the effects of 2020, and 2021, like, politics has still unfortunately been a thing. Like, there's just so much, there's so many overly politically charged people out there that just, it's like they wake up and the, their first word is, oh my gosh, yay, who can I get into a heated political debate with today? Well, shut your freaking face, would you? And it's just, and the, besides that, that, like, work has just been, things haven't really evened out. Like, there's still a ton of stuff not coming in. And yet, they decided to cut the crew back, and that, I think, is going to be the permanent thing. And it's just been hectic and tiring, and it's not, like, it just, work itself has been just more draining. I think 2020, like, I've dealt with work before that has been stressful, but... 2020 and now starting 2021 it just just the tolerance level just is kind of reaching its breaking point for me and one of the reasons why I stuck with where I worked is because it had a bit more freedom you know I had a I mean while it could be busy at times I still had kind of had the freedom to get to do videos uh, whenever I wanted to, or whenever I had the chance to, and for the past, like, seven and a half years, I want to say, uh, you know, I've, that's been the norm, but then 2020 hit, and 2020 was like, oh, ha, you want to, you want a life? Ha, <laughs> screw you, and so I've really honestly been thinking about getting a different job. The job that I've been really thinking about trying to do is trucking. And, um, uh, another thing is I renewed my license back in earlier this month 
in April, and I ended up picking up a CDL book while I was there, and I've been really thinking about trucking. That's just something that actually appeals to me, um, because another thing is YouTube, for a while, for a long time actually, I was hoping that YouTube would kind of work out, and maybe I could get to a point where I might could actually quit my job and do YouTube full-time, but the problem, there's a few different problems with that. Number one is, while I tried gaming on my channel, and I'm still planning on doing gaming, gaming is not a popular at all thing on my channel. Nobody wants gaming. Everybody wants reactions, and I do still want to do reactions, but the thing is, you know, I can't make a living off of doing reactions. And so I can't do that, and nobody wants to see any other content on the channel. Um, you know, nobody wants to see anything else but reactions, and some people still want, and unfortunately, I have a lot of little kids still, unfortunately, that follow me, and they don't care. They don't know about how YouTube is. They don't care. They're too young to understand. I wish they were off my channel, but I can't find them and you know, ban them with the ban hammer, all, all of them, I, I, I can't pick them all out, because I, I don't know who they are, but, unfortunately, they still, like, want me to do reactions to stuff that, like, completely the chan you know, I could not do, obviously, because it would get blocked worldwide, and so, I kind of got to a point where, I think in 2020, uh, I, I started really thinking about how, since YouTube uh, clearly is not going to work out because my channel has been at the same place for over for like a year and a half, it has not moved, and so like the channel is not going to grow. Where it is now is where it's going to stay, and so I realized that I needed kind of to make a choice. You know, since YouTube isn't going to work out, I needed to think of something that I could do that I could enjoy because if I'm going to do a regular job, I don't want to work on something that I'm unhappy with for the rest of my life. And so, i am really been thinking about doing trucking, and there could be some benefits to that. Obviously, I'd be making more money than I am now. Um, I wouldn't probably wouldn't be able to do as many gaming videos, because I don't know how that would work doing gaming from inside the rig, but um, uh, I want, I would drive OTR. Like, that's the thing that I've really been interested in, so that you know, being able to travel and deliver loads across, you know, from coast to coast and uh, being able to see different sites while you're trucking, while you're driving. And just, I love driving itself. I love driving and I love the feeling of being on the road. And so it, it just, it's so much fun for me. I love it. And so I think that I would feel at home on the road. And um, also, if I did that, uh, I don't want people to think that I wouldn't be doing videos. I would still be trying to do videos from inside the rig. I would obviously be doing trucking vlogs, you know, to take, you know, doing videos from different places where I visit. Um, and I would still want to still, I would definitely still try to do reactions as well from inside the rig and try to get that done while I was on the road, um, you know, whenever whenever I could. But um, I would actually hopefully be doing something I can have fun with and. That's been something I've been really highly thinking about doing, um, because it really it just seems the uh, it, there's just a lot, a lot of appeal to it to me, and so that's one thing I've been thinking about. And um, because obviously YouTube isn't going to work out, and so I've kind of stopped thinking about that as a career, um, because the fact is YouTube isn't for everybody as a career. Um, some people can do one video and it blow up, and suddenly they're popular. Other people they never they never. Uh, get like they never get past a certain point with their channel, and uh, clearly I'm that kind of person. Um, but that's okay. I mean, like I never wanted to have the same popularity as like really, really, really big YouTubers. Honestly, I would never be able to handle that kind of attention. Uh, I just wanted to get. I just hoped that I could get to a point where I could just make just enough for my channel that I could s quit my job and start doing YouTube. Um, but that's not going to happen, so I need to focus on me mentally, and the problem, and right now, the reason why I worked where I did is because of the flexibility, and it allowed me to be able to have the flexibility and freedom to be able to make videos, but clearly, because of work right now, I haven't had, I've been so mentally exhausted, and uh, everything from last year and from starting this year, and tired from work, I haven't had the chance, and so 
if work is going to keep me busy like that and not allow me to be able to have the freedom to do videos that I want, then I need another job. <laughs> I need something flexible as well because I don't want to quit doing YouTube. Um, so I've really been thinking about that. Uh, now this now moving on to other things uh, kind of been going on recently. I got scammed, basically, uh, somewhat. Okay, so this is kind of interesting. Back in 2020, uh, back in early 2020, I found a eBayer, uh, someone on eBay that was selling uh, posters. Oh, sorry, that was selling calendars. They were uh, there were calendars. It was a uh, Ready Mayor One, and every single month had different. Uh, had it was video game focused, and every single month had different characters, had different art by different artists, and I found it in I think around June or something, and I bought it in July, and it said, however, I paid 15 bucks for it, and it said that they would not ship out until February. I assumed February of this year. Well, February rolled rolled around, and I never got my calendar. And uh, the eBayer was uh, Brony Thank You Fund, and I couldn't get the calendar. Like I, mine never arrived. And between July, whenever I ordered mine, and even February, I was still seeing. I would periodically check back, and I would still see feedback on this on the, uh, that was indicating that some people were actually getting their calendars early. And I wondered, okay, if they're not shipping out till February, then why are other people even feedback now? So February rolled around, and I never got my calendar. And I tried contacting them uh, to find out about it, but I've never received a response. I sent two messages to them, no response. And because it's been so long, I can't open up a item not received dispute with eBay, and it's been too long for me to get a charge back from PayPal. So I just tossed away 15 bucks and never got my calendar. So that sucks that I got scammed from that. That really, truly sucks. And I never got my calendar either, which which that also sucks. So, yeah. Now, I, I know some people got their calendars. I know some people did, but unfortunately, I never did. And it sucks because I really wanted it. It, was, it looked really cool. It would have been a great little you know, a great little collectible, you know, but unfortunately I never got it and they won't respond to messages. I don't know if they're dead or what, but heck, maybe they got COVID and all died. Who knows? But, um, additionally, besides that, I also got scammed, uh, or I'm attempting, uh, I got a letter in the mail, uh, a couple weeks ago, I think it was, uh, telling me that from it was it was a debt collector telling me that I owed thirteen hundred dollars to a company that I like affiliate solutions or something and they said that I had uh, they acquired my account I did not know even I had an account with them and uh, I've never heard of them before and that I owed Pendrick Capital something and uh, for Emergency Services Inc. from January of 2018. So I got the bill and the bill says that I had emergency services done on January 14th, 2018. I just checked because I did a video and I checked to see whenever it was that I had the flu. And apparently, apparently it was back in 2018 that I had the flu, and they're billing me for $1,300, and they say that they will take a reduction of 523 And here's the funny thing about some of this stuff that makes me think that this is just a total scam. First off, in 28, first off, it says Emergency Services, Inc., which is like a generic sounding thing. I mean, I'm not saying that this is a complete scam, but it just, there's a lot of things that don't make any sense about it. I looked up the company. They were started in 2015. I found an article from 2018, and by that point in 2018, they already had like 46 complaints against them. Considering they've been only in operation for three years, that's not exactly a good record. And... 
they're, they say they're a debt collector and that I owe this other company, Pendrick Capital something. Here's the stupid thing. In the letter that I received, this affiliate solutions or whatever, make sure to put their address, the full address and everything, like two or three times in the paper. This Pendrick Capital thing, it said if you want to contact them, you have to write to them. You have to write to a company in 2021. There's something wrong there. What company does not have a fax, an email, or a phone number? None of these were listed. I'm like, really? And so I started doing some research on the company, and some people apparently did give them money. Other people were like, yeah, I think this is a scam. From what I could research, it seems like it is a legitimate company. Now, here's the funny thing. Back in 2018, I didn't have any insurance. Whenever I went to the hospital over the flu, uh, it was actually a family member that paid the bill for me. I didn't want to go to the hospital, and I tried not to get... To, I tried not to go, but they dragged me there, and I didn't want to go, but they ended up paying the bill for me and, because I didn't have any insurance at the time, and so they're billing me for something that I didn't have insurance for at the time, and it's three years ago? Really? Really? So, yeah, it doesn't really make any sense. Uh, so, it doesn't... And honestly, the also, the letter does not indicate what I had done. It just says... Basically just tells about the company, their practices, and everything. It kind of feels like they're building up your trust and everything. And it says, cre original creditor below. Emergency Services, Inc. Pardon me. And it doesn't make any sense. It's weird. So, I haven't done anything with it, and I've kept the letter, but I'm not going to do anything right now because I still think it's a major big scam, and so I'm not going to do anything right now, I'm just going to wait and see, which a guy at work and I was kind of joking about it because I let him read it, and back uh, a couple, back about a month or so ago, I had this also interesting experience, it was weird, very, very weird. Uh, I was going to work, I got out to the vehicle, and suddenly as I get to the vehicle, this other SUV that was coming down the road just slowed down and stopped. This is like 9.30 at night. They just stop. And to demonstrate, my vehicle, like the vehicle was parked here. This is the road here. This is going uh, down the road, and this right here is going up the road. And they were coming down the road. I say, no, this right here was going down the road right here. And so they just get, like, they just get to here. No, sorry. No, the front of the truck was, yeah, sorry. Uh, I'm trying to figure it out from this camera. The front of the truck was facing down the road. And so they come down the road uh, this way. Let me use my other hand here. I can't do that. Okay. Okay, I was facing this way, and they come down the road facing the same direction. They just suddenly slow down and just stop. And they're like one car length away diagonally from the truck, and they just sit there like, and the windows are tinted. It was a white SUV. They just sit there. Nobody says anything. Nobody gets out. They just sit there. And so I just casually and calmly open the door to the truck up, and I look right at them to let them know that I see them. And I put my cooler in the truck, and then I lean back, and I look at them one more time, and then I get in the truck. And as soon as I get in and close the door, that's whenever they start accelerating, and they start going down the road. It was weird. Very, very strange. But it happened. And also, another update uh, going uh, on the YouTube front. Um... The stupidity of YouTube never ceases to end. Uh, every single one, but, uh, like, I've done five episodes of Pony Life so far. Four of those have already bit the dust and been blocked worldwide. So, except for the first episode, every other one past that, two, three, four, and five, have been blocked worldwide. So, I tried... Uh, editing them differently whenever I did that. I tried uh, stretching them and making them a little bit more transparent. It didn't work. 
apparently. It might have worked for a while. I think if I would have done like the full episode deal, you know, like left it full color and left it the original size, uh, I, I think it would have been matched faster, but it took it a while before it actually got matched, so it might have helped. But yeah, it's still not exactly, um, it still didn't help. So what I'm going to, uh, so I'm, I'm still going to try to do Pony Life, um, but I'm going to have to make, I'm going to have to tinker with some episodes and try editing. Uh, I'm going to have to tinker with some of the episodes and see what I can do. So the next, so what I'm thinking of doing, uh, I've seen a few other people do this on YouTube, uh, not just with episodes of shows, but I've seen a couple of people do this with movies as well. Um, where basically they don't show the full thing, but they trim it, they cut it and only leave in the parts where they give like a reaction to something where they give commentary, but moments where they're just sitting there in silence, they cut out. Um, so I think I'll try that. So I, I, what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to like with the, whenever I get to do the next couple of episodes of Pony Life, I'm actually going to upload two versions of each. One, I'm going to try stretching the video more and making it a little more transparent. And I may even lower the audio of it just a bit um, and see how that works. Um, and the other second one uh, will be the same episode, but I'm going to trim it and only leave in the parts where I do the reactions to different things that happen in it. And I'll try to see how that works. Uh, so... The commentary and everything will be the same, but I'm just going to try to trim it and see how that works. So I'm going to give it an indication uh, which one is trimmed. I mean, you'll be able to see uh, on how long the video is, the timer. But I'm also going to put, like, on the trimmed one, the regular one, just edited differently. You know, that one uh, will be normal. But whenever I get to, whenever I upload the trimmed one, I'm still going to, it's going to have trimmed or uh, it, it's going to have trimmed in the title. So that, that way you'll know. And so I'm going to see how that works. And um, so I'm, I'm a, I am disappointed that the other videos bit the dust. Um, but there are some other things that I kind of want to try to do reactions to. But I'm going to have to do the trimmed feature. Like I wanted to start doing a reaction to the series Hilda. And, and animated series Hilda. Um, I watched one episode already and I love it and I thought this will be fun to do a reaction to but I'm gonna have to do the trimmed version of that one because obviously I can't do the full reaction um, so I'm gonna have to do trimmed but if anyone has any other tips or anything please let me know in the comments please let me know if there's any tips that you know you might could recommend uh, no I will not try to appeal it because I've heard that if you try appeal if you try to appeal and it gets uh, denied then it results in a strike and I won't do that uh, additionally, uh, it infuriates me, like, I don't want to see, honestly, sorry, no, not sorry, I don't want to see anyone commenting stupid YouTube, things like that, like, I've seen people do that before, uh, people have asked me about a, a couple of videos that have disappeared because they were blocked, or, um, why that I had to edit a video or something, and I see people make comments like stupid YouTube and everything, and honestly, it gets me irritated whenever I see people doing this because outright complaining about YouTube isn't going to do anything. They uh, That old saying, actions speak louder than words, um, it really does. And uh, complaining about YouTube in the comments on videos is not going to do anything. YouTube doesn't give a crap. The people at YouTube doesn't give a crap. They, like, right now with the changes that they made to YouTube, and not just COPPA, but, like, originally you could just, you could cuss all you wanted on YouTube. Uh, I never did because I don't cuss on my channel or really outside of my channel either. But I just don't, like, that's never been my thing. But I, I know a lot of YouTubers that do. And then suddenly it's like, oh, they can't say, they, even, they can't even say uh, bitch in a video because suddenly demonetized. I just did. We'll see what happens. This video is probably going to get demonetized now. But... Like, suddenly, you have to be more caring about other people's feelings, and me, I'm just like, nope, not gonna happen. You know, like, I do my thing. And, um, so, 
I see people make comments about stupid YouTube complaining about it. That's not going to get anything. YouTube isn't going to read that. YouTube doesn't care. The that video talking about Kappa and the that went around. That's probably one of the most, if not the most, disliked video on YouTube right now, and has been since 2019. And YouTube doesn't care. And so I have to say, stop complaining about YouTube and do something about it. Like, there are people right now who live in California who live right near uh, the YouTube headquarters, you know, the YouTube offices. Start working there. If you want to make things better, if you want to change YouTube, don't do petitions. Don't complain about it on videos where they're never going to read. No. Start working for YouTube as an intern. Work your way up the ladder and kick every one of those stupid bitches out of there. Take control of YouTube again. And to companies like COPPA say, get your dick out of my face and take over the company and change it back. That's the only option. Complaining about it isn't going to do anything. You need to take action and do it. And so that's what I say. And I live in Virginia. I live on the opposite side of the United States. So I'm not close enough to do it. But I know there are plenty of people that have the intellect that could start working as an intern, work their way up, take control, and change the system back and do good with YouTube. So instead of complaining do something about it. That's the only way that change is going to happen. You can't just sit idly by and expect someone else to do it. I mean, I would do it myself, but I'm pretty sure nobody would want me, you know, as the head of YouTube because uh, I would take a lot of people off, I'm sure. But it's exactly like there was a scenario, kind of funny little story tossing in there. There was a scenario at work where one of the cashiers... Uh, one night ended up asking me why that they only had guys working on nice stock. And I said, I don't know. And she said, kind of seems sexist, doesn't it? My first thought at this point, it didn't, I didn't never cross my mind until much la until like later on that, that next day. But my thought, first thought was number one, why does everything have to be sexist? Why does everything have to be racist and everything today? Why does everything have to be black and white why does it have to be that my second thought was number two why are you expecting somebody else to do it if you want to make that change you get in there and you do it yourself thinking back I wish I would have looked at her and said well I'm sure they would hire you if you tried why don't you try it you know if you want the change you do it don't expect somebody else to do it for you you know and that's just kind of the thought you know, she thought it was kind of sexist that they only have guys working, but she probably wouldn't be willing to do it herself if she was expecting other women to do it. Yeah, yeah, I, I, I don't believe in that. I'm not, I mean, me and another guy were talking about it. We know there are women right now uh, that would be extremely capable of doing the same thing that we do and would be better at it, even. But I'm thinking they probably just don't, probably have any applications there's probably just not any women that actually apply and there's probably no girls that actually apply and then there's probably just nobody just really wants to do it and they probably think if they put even one woman or two women on the crew with guys they probably think that there might that there might be some you know sexual things that ends up happening and they don't want that they don't want any sort of trouble and, you know, that could, I'm guessing that's probably why, but it's just one of those things where, like I said, you have to take the chance and make the change yourself. And uh, so, yeah, that's another thing. And uh, additionally, uh, as you can tell, I've been letting my hair grow longer. So what do you guys think? Um, the thing is, uh, I've kept it short before, but I wanted to give it a try with it being longer. Uh, I just kind of I was listening to uh, AOR uh, music, which is a uh, uh, album, which is uh, short for album oriented rock, and basic. Some of it is classic rock, um, but a lot of it, what I listen to, is modern rock that sounds like something from the '80s. And so I was listening to some of it, and it's kind of funny because you have this this modern rock, and you have guys with long hair and um, that, you know, it basically, they're bringing back the hair metal bands of the 80s. So I just decided for the heck of it, I thought, I, I wonder what it would actually be like to have longer hair. So 
I started letting it grow longer, and I haven't had it cut in months now. And this is what it is. I did trim some, uh, like, the bangs around the side, because there are some of the... Uh, whenever I happen to drive my dad's truck, my bangs happen to blow in front of my face and get in my eye. So I trim that so that it would not get in my face. But um, other than that, I've trimmed a couple of loose uh, curls that sticks out that I could not get to lay down. The thing is, my hair likes to curl, as you can see. Like, it wants to curl, and I, I wish it would go straight, but it wants to curl. So if it, like, has something that sticks out completely, like, and I can't do anything with it, then I'll cut it off. But otherwise, like, right here, like, I try to keep it straight, but it's actually getting pretty good, I think. Like, it's actually getting this long here now, like, down to here. So, I actually like it. It's interesting, uh, like, whenever you have to, like, bend back and pull your hair out of your eyes. Uh, like, I... When it, but the fun thing about it, though, is being able to headbang. And that's the thing that I like about it, is being able to headbang, listen to music, and just, you know, just headbang. And so then you happen to reach back and pull your hair back and fix it. Um, so I think it's actually pretty cool. Um, so now, I, because before, with short hair, I couldn't headbang. But now I can. I can totally rock out, you know. And I actually think it's pretty cool. Um, I'm still letting it grow, um, because I'm still, uh, there's a couple of curls here that getting all, get it, keep getting on my nerves from time to time though, but, um, I'm still letting it grow, uh, but I just wanted to try it, see what I think about it. I actually like it, yeah, so, you know, I'll see, I'll see, um, but anyway, I wanted to give you guys a little update on a couple things like that as well, and, uh, let you guys know some of the stuff that has been kind of going on, on and off of YouTube, and, um, so let you guys know and um, so in closing before I end the video I want to say oh there's another curl uh there we go nope still there I see it uh I have to trim that one off there we go that's better uh anyway um, I may anyway I am still on YouTube I still want to do videos I haven't quit YouTube I haven't um, like I don't want to be so you know I've seen people before that just kind of fell off of YouTube and never heard from them again or just drifted away from YouTube. I don't want to be that. I want to be active uh, and such like I have been before, like I was before 2020. I want to be active and I still want to do the stuff that I'm used to doing and the stuff that I want to do. But like I said, 2020 affected me negatively. 2020 was a very depressing year and it, you know, still kind of pulling myself out of that funk that 2020 put me in. And, um, 2021 is still kind of that, but I'm still kind of making through, you know, going through it, and um, I'm slowly, little by little, pulling myself out of that, but um, I don't want anybody, like, I hate that I haven't had the chance to get to interact with people as much as I would want to, uh, and get to do the videos that I would want to, so I really, really apologize for that, but that's why I wanted to kind of start this update series, let you guys know some of the stuff that kind of goes on, and um, that way you kind of have a bit of an understanding and um, some of the stuff about that and uh, so to let you guys know about that and like I said like I still want to do videos I still love doing videos it's just pulling myself you know kind of making you know doing the videos whenever I want to and I feel like it and just like right now I still feel a little tired right now um, because I didn't get as much sleep yesterday as I should have or as much as I wanted to um, so that's another issue is where it's spring now and you got neighbors that start working uh, and you know where I work during the night and I sleep through the day they pick the days to do work outside and you know so I don't get to sleep as much until I suddenly start hearing a pressure washer a lawnmower hammering or someone's uh, uh, small backhoe or end loader or something doing stuff in their yard and so yeah just hearing that so it's it, it gets annoying but that's just the thing you know that I end up having to deal with um, but like I said uh, I wanted to let you guys know I'm still I still want to do videos I haven't stopped and it's not that I've lost my interest in it I have not Lord knows I want to do videos I still love it and I still have an interest in it it's just 
pulling myself out of that funk that 2020 put me in and 2020 is still kind of keeping me in pulling myself out of that and you know just trying to kind of get the motivation to do it you know I want to I do but you know with the depression state and the funk that 2020 put you in it's kind of something where you have to recover from you know because 2020 was impactful on a lot of people in different ways and I'm still kind of mentally and emotionally kind of getting through that and still kind of recovering. And then, you know, it seems like endless sort of aggravation at work that just kind of keeps adding on to that as well. So, yeah. And then a little bit of family as well. But uh, anyway. And then I've also kind of I've been upset because I haven't been able to do videos and talk to people uh, that like I want to. And so I've been stressed over that as well. And that's been getting me down, and that's been keeping me down since 2020, and since 2020 kept me busy, and so, yeah, uh, so I really apologize for that, and please don't, I don't want anyone to think that I've completely abandoned you, or that I've just turned my back on you, Lord knows, I, I don't ever, ever want to do that, and I hope people understand, uh, and understand that I still want to communicate, I still want to do videos and everything, it's just, you know, trying to get out of trying to run from and escape 2020 and still trying to keep 2021 from bringing you down and then tr trying to get through work and just trying to get enough rest and everything that you know you can just feel motivated and energized and so you know that's just something I'm trying to do and I, 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 I know I'm not the only one I know there are other people that are like that as well um, but uh, I want to give you guys a little update and let you guys know and let you know some of the stuff that's kind of been going on um, and uh, keep you guys updated. And that's why I kind of want to start the series is so I can keep you guys updated on things as they transition, as they progress. But uh, I'll end the video with a little funny story that happened at work, um, which was we were talking the other night, uh, me and two other guys. We were both ner All three of us are nerds. If you haven't figured that out by me, if you haven't figured that out about me already, where have you been? Uh, but, uh, or, well, I'm a geek, I'm a nerd, I don't really know if there's a, a difference, but um, we were talking about Spongebob, and we were talking about the episode where Spongebob puts Gary into a race, and I was making a mention about how exaggerated that particular race scene was where Gary's eyes explode and he suddenly spins out and crashes and explodes and then suddenly never cuts back to Spongebob running to him he's just like 20 feet away and we were talking about that and this other guy this other employee other co-worker comes walks back to the back room where we were and he hears us talking he hears me making a mention about the race about the race and he thought I was talking about real NASCAR racing and he said you like racing dude like real race like racing uh, or something like that he said uh you talking about racing and i just kind of grinned and i said no we were talking about spongebob and he kind of tilted his head back and said oh okay and one of the other guys he like we kind of started laughing and this other guy was like he probably this uh, other guy's like yeah he probably just thinks nerd and it was just all four of us were laughing. It was just, it was absolutely hilarious. It, it was fun, too. Like, it was just so, it, it was really fun and hilarious. But, um, anyway, I uh, wanted to give you guys a little update video. So, hopefully I can kind of keep doing these videos in between other videos as well and let you guys know. Um, but, uh, hopefully I'll be able to do another video sometime soon. If not a regular reaction or gaming video, then hopefully, uh, maybe, and hopefully be able to talk to some people as well on Discord and Twitter and Facebook everywhere um, on here too. Uh, hopefully I'll be able to uh, maybe do another update video as well. Maybe next week and let you guys know. But um, anyway, thanks again for joining me. I hope you guys enjoyed. And even though there wasn't any really anything to enjoy, but again, thanks again for joining me. And again, you can comment on the different stuff going that I mentioned in the video. And uh, uh, like I said, thanks again for joining me. If you listen to the full thing and hopefully I will see you guys in the next video that I do. Take care.